Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be storing photo cards and yes, I can explain how we have exponentially grown in binders. <laughs> and this is all just girl groups in miscellaneous collections. None of this is my BTS collection. <laughs> this is all of my cards I have to store. This is BTS over here and BTS in here. But the BTS cards will be put away in a different video that I will be filming for October. Um, it is currently the end of September and I've been holding all of these cards since the summertime. So definitely these need to be put away. The first pile I picked up is my yellow binder. So let's start with that one. Starting off with 5050. As you may or may not know, 5050 is going through some things right now. I just want the best for the girls and... If that means leaving the company, then I fully support them. I just want them to be in a safe environment, recording music, doing what they love. So I love Aran, I love 5050, and I've been with them since pre-debut, so I have no intentions of dropping them. It's just that the collection is going to be pretty stagnant, as they won't be releasing anything for a while. But in good news, I do have cards to put away. So first we have the 50, which was their debut, and I'm still missing one card. Um, I really, really want it. It's our cheek poke one, so if you have it, please reach out to me on my Instagram. Like, I would love to buy it, trade it, anything. I just really want that card. So that's the only card I'm missing for the 50. I do have her other card that's like this, but it's a non-selfie and I didn't want it in here, so I just have her ID instead, but I really do want her cheek poke card. Moving on to the beginning slash Cupid. I have all of her cards and two printer benefits. So these are all of her cards and two pops. Also, I'm sorry about any shadows. It's a little, it's a little gloomy out. This is my favorite card. Originally, when the era started, this was my favorite card, but then having this one in person quickly became my favorite card. So that is the first page. And now I have the second page of cards, which is just the last two album cards and the two pre-order benefits I got. So here's one, and here's the other one. Look at her, she's literally a teddy bear. So that is it for 50-50 slash add-on. Once I get this last card, I will be complete and I'm so excited. Now we move on to end mix. I filmed this video like months, like a month or two ago, hated it. And I ended up changing a lot of my collections anyway, so I just took everything out and I'm redoing it now. But be like since then, so much has happened that I don't remember what you would have seen last. But Ginny is not going to be in this binder anymore because she is officially debuting as a soloist. And I will talk about that way more at a different point in this video. But she's not in this NMIX collection anymore. She's going to be in her own little section. So this is just Jiwoo. Um, so... I have all of her cards in one section. So we have Admir and Twerk and Experbo is where we'll start. So these are her album cards. These two are the standard A and standard B. This is her Digi pack. And this is her limited card. This is Expergo. For a Midsummer's and Mixed Jewelene, I do have two full pages worth of cards because that's just how much we had for this era. So I have her regular cards, so the Athens and Forest versions. So those are the regular selfies and then the Polos. And then I have this page I'll get into. I also didn't love these selfie cards either, but I love the Polos. And I'm going to catty corner the polos. Okay, so 
So that is the first page. That's what it looks like. And then for this page, I have her digi pack, which is this one. I have her limited card. Oh wait, yeah, she had two limiteds. Like Ensware versions, I think, is what we were calling them. There's this one and this one. And then to fill out the page, I'm just going to get a pre-order benefit and I haven't decided which one I want because there's so many cute options. So I'm just kind of waiting until I find one that I really want before I just buy one. So this will be a pop for this era and she will be complete until the next comeback. So that's really exciting. Next we have Yuki for Purple Kiss. I'm only collecting two cards per era. So um, this is my little cabin fever <laughs> collage, but I hate it. So I'm gonna try and get um, one of the new Festa albums. It's so funny seeing like calling it Festa because it's like all I think about when I think of Festa is BTS. So I will try to get an album and then make a cover for that. Like I said, I already filmed this video, so <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do a flip through instead of putting away everything. So Into Violet, Hide and Seek, Mem Mem, Geeky Land, Photo Books, Geeky Land, um, Digipack, and then like pre-order benefits. I forget what they were called though. This is for Cabin Fever. And then for the next era, this is all I'm collecting. One pre-order benefit, a main photo, which is like one of the photo books, and then polka versions. And then that's it for what I'm collecting. And then I don't think I'm gonna collect her new debut with the Queendom Puzzle Group. I haven't decided yet because Urim's in that too, and I do love Urim, so maybe I'll collect the two of them, but I'm not quite sure yet. So. So that's it for this binder and we can move on to the next one okay next we have this binder which is like my turquoise binder slash green and that is this cutie this is Daihan in the front it's one of her with me pre-order benefits or with me lucky draws i forget which one but yeah we have some explaining to do in this binder okay so i've decided to collect twice a little bit more serious than i did because twice are, have always been one of my top girl groups so i really wanted to collect more my old bias in twice is dahyun but my second bias is like tied for mina and nyan so i really wanted to collect nyan <laughs> and but i didn't want to get rid of mina because like they're literally tied like i can't pick one over the other so we're gonna call it top three meg's version um any taylor swift fans hi I am a Swifty, but yeah. <laughs> so I will explain my twice binder when we get there, but this is now a miscellaneous girl group binder. First we have the twice cards that don't go in my top three. What is love? Feel special. Eyes wide open. Eyes wide open. Taste of love. And between one and two, Nyan and Dahyun, so. And then we move into Stacy. I wish I could collect them fully. I just, every time I want to, I get so unmotivated at some point. So I just didn't feel like doing that. So I just collect what I want, when I want. And this is from younglove.com. This is from Teddy Bear. And now we're moving into Teen Fresh, aka Bubble. And I have these cards. I absolutely love the Team Fresh era. Like, it's so cute. And But there was just so much to collect for it that I was like, I'm not stressing over this. I'm getting what I want. And I have no rules. I'm just collecting it however I want. So I have this Suman, because Suman is my bias. But my bias record has changed. It usually is um, Isa. But this era, Sayun really just wrecked me. Um, I also have her signed uh, Hello82 digi pack, so mm, I love her. So, I do have this, these two cards from her. 
and that's probably all I'm gonna collect. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it yet, but. So that is it for Stacy, and I am gonna make dividers for them because um, there is a third group in here, and there could be a fourth group if I so choose to do so. First, let me show you the other girlies in here, which is Fremis 9. I just love Fremis, and I wish I could collect them. It's just really hard. So, and I do double bias in there, so Jihun and Sadam are my biases, and it's just really hard to collect both of them. Um, Sadam is probably one of the cheapest members of the group, and Jihun is one of the most expensive. So, that's just my luck. But, kind of similar to Stacy, I just collect what I want, when I want, and it's, I mean, this whole binder is a miscellaneous binder on purpose, so... This is a pre-order benefit, which is so freaking cute, but this is Beat Road? No, I genuinely cannot remember. And one of my favorite uh, My Little Society cards. So this is Fun Factory, and then My Little Society we go into from our Memento box. So we have Saturn Jihun, and then this from our memento box, Jihun. And then we have Unlock My World. And I just have the one card right now for Jihun. But I do have two Saturn cards on the way from Miss Collect. So Before I wrap up this binder, let me talk about Ginny for a second. So Ginny, it was one of my top prizes in Mix, and she is officially debuting as a soloist and I couldn't be more excited for her. I'm about to be the most annoying person. If you follow my Instagram, you already know I've been posting so much about it. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> but I love her so much and I'm just so happy to see her back as an idol. So in here is one of my collect books and I don't typically show my collect books on my channel, but I do have collect books. And this one has Ginny's Nmix cards because for a while we didn't know what she was going to do. So I just put her Nmix cards in here. I don't have Entor. I have decided not to get them just because like, I just don't care to get them. But I do have her Admir cards and then I will be collecting her solo. And I've gone back and forth about putting her solo in here. But I just looked at like all the like details dropped and there's just no way I'm gonna fit her collection in here. It's about to get massive. So I will be putting Ginny's solo things in here when the time comes and I'll make a collage for her and everything. And I also think it will help with adding some more to this binder because these are very small collections that won't be expanding to a full capacity. They're just cards I want that are a little too like there's too many to be in a collect book but not enough to be full collections you know what I mean so that's what this binder is sticking with the toys theme I will finally explain what's going on with my toys collection okay so for twice I have decided to like I said expand let's start with the big boy the elephant in the room my first a5 wide binder I'm so excited I love it Thank you to Meow Cafe for making these. I've been holding off getting an A5 wide because I never really liked the ones that were on the market, but this one changed the game and I love it. It is white with sparkles. I don't think you can see that. It's the white and blue one, which also has, oh, there you go. Now you can see the sparkles. So let me get this opened and set up so you can see everything. I did get the one that clasps because I just feel so much more secure with that. So here's the Meow Cafe and the inside is blue. I got into toys right before Fancy. So Fancy was my first comeback and that's basically where I'm going to be starting from and I'm only collecting two sets per album. So like I said, this is the meg version <laughs> so it's not a full top three collection it's not a full twice collection by any means this is 
the way I want to do it, and this is the way I've been enjoying doing it. So first, we start with two sets from Fancy, which I don't have anything. Then for Feel Special, I have one card already. And then we have more and more. And then we have Eyes Wide Open, which I already have these two. I've had, like, had these already, so. Um, but I have both. Yeah, I have both of Nyons on the way. And I think I have Minos too. So this will be complete pretty soon. And then this is what packs look like. Well, now we will start to actually store cards. So. We have Drink Nyon. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not showing. So, Drink Nyon. And then we have Finger Heart Mina. So that is what this will look like basically. I am absolutely adoring doing this. It's been making collecting twice so much fun. Um, I think we're gonna be completing the next few pages, by the way. Like this should be very satisfying. Um, next we have the heart set and the cookie. So we have Oh, hello? I guess I did not have a thing there. So we have Nyon and Heart Mina. Look at her makeup. She's so pretty. Oh, I guess I'm like not showing you guys, sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize my camera was gonna have such a hard time focusing. And then we have Cookie Nyon. Love me some Cookie Nyon. I love a set. I know she has, Mina has a different card, but this is actually one I pulled, so I kept it. Um, and that's kind of the thing that's nice about these kind of sets, is that even if they don't necessarily match, like, it still works. So, like, I could have used this card for Nyon instead if I wanted to, but, like, obviously with, like, the hearts, like, you could... You can do whatever, but it would still look cute um, with the set. So I can basically pick and choose what I want, which I love. And you'll also see it with this set. And then for this version, Diana has the one where she's holding her chocolate, but it's completely orange in the background. And I like this card better anyway, and I think it matches better with these two because they have pink in theirs. And the only pink in hers was with the clocks. So I ended up switching out hers to match a little better, which I love. So that's kind of what I'm what I was talking about with like when the same concept has two cards, it's pretty nice to like mix and match. So that's what I love doing with this. So this is the complete between one and two page. And then the last era, the most recent era. We have Ready to Be. Oh, I absolutely love this. Honestly, this set was what made me decide to collect my top three. Like, I just loved the way they looked together. And I was like, I need to collect my top three. I'm doing it. So I did it. And that is it for twice. So next video will be pretty much filling in these gaps, not everything, but like, I have a good amount on the way. And then we have the completed sets already. And then next era, we'll go here. So then my mini binder, my collect book, has cards that don't fit within these. So, yes, I do have IDs in here. <laughs> But basically, we have these Nyon cards. It's a lot of Nyon Momo and, yeah, it's a lot of Nyon and Momo because my top four is Momo included. But I have a lot of Momo because I used to collect Momo. 
but this is basically an Ayana and Momo's binder. And the Jisho. Just some of my favorite toys cards that I kept. I love, love, love this Jungion. I will never get rid of her. But, yep, yeah, that's it for this little twice binder. My little cherry bunny, because she is a bunny. But yeah. Alright, that's it for toys. Next, we have my Yujin binder. So I did split WJSN and Yujin. So this is her Eyes One cards. Then we start with her Ive cards. So I've decided to collect <laughs> I've I've decided to collect <laughs> four cards per era. So starting off with eleven, I have two pre-order benefits. And they are the Wonder Wall. And one I'm blanking on. I cannot remember this one. But she's so cute. This is 11. Then we move into Love Dive. I have this one. And these are both pre order benefits. And then next is Afterlight. And actually, I have some really exciting cards. This one is a pre-order benefit. And the biggest surprise of all, the greatest achievement of 2023, I have a signed Eugene card. Like, this is unreal. I'm so happy. It's a fan sign card. Like, it, it's just everything to me. Um... I am just obsessed with it, so this is after, like, I absolutely love it. And then we move into Khalil round one, and I have the rest of this. And then the next one is I Am, which was the first full album, which <laughs> I was so obsessed with. And I have a version 3 card, jewel case, then two pre-order benefits. I love this one. This is Ive Ive. And then we move into the second round of Cleo. Oh, I think I just messed up the order. I did. This is like one of my new favorite cards, by the way. She knows how to pose. Okay, that is the second round of Cleo. I was having a comeback in October, which I'm so excited for. Like, I cannot even begin to explain. They also had a summer package, so I will be... A summer package? <laughs> they had, like, a summer photo book. Um, I did order Eugen's things from that. The only thing for Eugen I don't collect is Japan-related things. So, like, Japan releases, I don't collect those for her. Um, but for, like, collabs, I try to get what I can. But she has quite a few collabs. Um, so... Cleo is the most attainable for me, but she does have a few other ones that I've gone back and forth with collecting. But I love her collection so much, and I think four cards per era is such a slay, and I'm very happy with this. And I love having her in her own little binder. It's so fun, and I do plan on decorating it. And then this is just a two-pocket page that I keep back here for larger things when I have them. So, yep, that is it for you, Jen. That went pretty fast. I don't have anything for WJSN, so I won't be going in that binder. I need them to have a comeback, though. Like, right now. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, we have this hefty little binder called the Seraphim. <laughs> Let's just jump right in, because we have so much to do. First, we have the debut 
which was fearless and I have two pre-order benefits for this page I love this one because um, it's a selfie from this version and this card is so cute don't get me wrong but I wish that it was a selfie so I'm glad that we had a pre-order benefit that was a selfie and then this is from Weavers Global I want to say it's the hollow one I did start a OT5 set for Fearless because I do collect one OT5 set per era. So, Black Petrol version coming right up. So, I already have Kazuha, so I just need to get the rest of the girls. And I have Chewon and Unche with me right now, so I'm just missing Minjin. I love this Chewon card. Look at her little pout. <laughs> and then I have Unche. And then I'm just missing Yunjin, and I don't have her on the way or anything, so she's just one I have to go hunt down, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, but I liked this one better as a cohesive set, even though I like this concept better. I just liked their cards more for this one. So then we have Anti Fragile, and this is a pre order benefit spot, which I got this one. I love this outfit on her. Version 1, version 2, version 3. Um, I can't remember if I've stored this in the last video or not, but I do have version 2. So the photo books are complete, and now we have one more compact version. Compact card. And that's all I'm collecting for Anti-Fragile. So sometimes I collect everything, sometimes I don't. In this case, I didn't. Then my OT5 set is the Virgin Aquamarine, so I have the rest of the members that I needed. Yunjin, who was my hardest member. And in noticing a common theme, she is one of the last ones that I always need to get. So yeah, that is it for Anti-Fragile. Then we go into Fearless Japan, which I did not collect anything else except for trading cards. because I do pick and choose like what I collect for her. And this came as a set and it was so cheap. But it's like all selfie cards, like what like I would not pass that up. So that's her Fearless Japan set, trading card set. They are thicker, so that is the only downside to those. And then we move into Unforgiven, and I had so much fun collecting Unforgiven. This is all Unforgiven, <laughs> but I had so much fun collecting it, and it was just very easy. Um, so I have version 1, version 2, version 3, this is her target version. Then we move into her Weavers and Compact things. So I have her water bottle card, the Burning Heart one, Mirror Selfie, which hello, <laughs> and the QR code. Weaver's cat girl pose. Then I got a pre-order benefit, which as soon as I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. And it works out because it does match her, like, other card. It's the same outfit. And her unit matches her cat girl pose. So, and her other unit does match this one, but because I had this one, I didn't need to put the unit card there. So I do have it, it's just not here my OT5 set I was going to do the burning heart one but I really fell in love with the QR code set so I ended up getting the QR code because <laughs> look at you on and it works out well because I use white sleeves so it covered the QR codes anyway so it just looked cohesive 
and I just love it. Like, I really love this set. So, happy I did that. And that is it for Unforgiven, and also it for the Seraphim. So, that is everything. Hello? That was everything in my La Seraphim collection, and then I am going to be collecting four cards for Unforgiven Japan, so that will go here. And then hopefully they have a comeback soon, but uh, also I'm not in any rush because we have a lot of October comebacks. So. so earlier I showed this binder when I was showing my Genie collection, but I do want to show it again because I do have some cards to store in it. And it's not many, but I also wanted to talk about this binder because it does have to do with, like, my collections. So, as I said, I have my miscellaneous A5 binder, but this is my miscellaneous clickbook for my girlies, and I do have a miscellaneous collection for my boys. So, for my girls, um, I have Ginny in here. And then I have Hedden from New Jeans. And I'm collecting one card per era for her. So I have this one from Debut. Missing one from Ongera. But this one is from the most recent era. I have this one. I love this card so much. So I do have this one. So this is my little new jeans collection. <laughs> And then I have a G Idol collection, and I just keep my pulls, but I do buy a Suki, so I um, pulled Soyeon, and then I bought this Ugi card, because how could I not? Like, I love her. So, and then if you saw in my other binder, I pulled Minnie's uh, ID, so that's where Minnie's ID is, and then these are my two... Uh, cards. And then I have Doan from Luna, and I know she re-debuted with Lusumble. Um, I don't have any plans on collecting her though, but I just have these three from Flipback because I love her. And then I have this Eyes One Sakura card. Um, but that is it. Let me leave you with Nyan. So that is it for this video. I'm so glad I finally got to refilm it. I've been waiting. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!